hello guys so in today's video we will be showing you how just to make such a model this model is from the iDesign playlist and uh, created by architect Kusai so you can check all the links of the architect Kusai in the description so let me just talk a bit about this mass first of all like um, let's calculate like how many floor do we have in, he in here it's approximately this one is like the ground and then one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, and then we can make maybe 13 or 14 in, in here also. Um, in this in this tutorial, I will be using um, generic models, models in place actually, or I mean, uh, we could use even a wall, but and given it a thickness, we can use it. And for this side, we can just directly all these elements, we can just rotate them. And uh, in these elements, also we can use, I mean, the generic models. Um, I'm not sure about this part. We can close it and we can keep it like open as it, as it is. So let's just uh, go to Revit now and I just open a new project, metric, metric one, architectural one. I just click UN for the unit in order um, to change it. Let's just use the centimeter for now. I like to use centimeter, maybe guys you like to use the inch or meter, it's up to you. So let's start with, uh, with the floors, okay? Um, I will make approximately just rectangular floor and for this side I will make it approximately 10 and that one maybe 7 so I will just FL and then click rectangle one and then click this one will be 700 and that one will be 1000 sorry vice versa this one is 1000 and this one is 700 okay so now um, click OK. I will go to one of the elevations since I'm here, so I will be looking at it from this side and be a bit to the middle um, to the south elevation. I do have floor, so let me see just the, the picture. It's approximately 3, 3.5. Okay, and then click on this one AR for array from this line to this one, and then make it maybe for or 13 another 13 level okay okay so go to view go to blends view floor blends click shift and then select all of them and now we can see them in here so go to 3d double three click this one first of all SD to make it as shaded click this one array or copy placed based to align to selected level from 2 to 14 and then ok so we can now see it in here it's up to you you can change even the the dimension of it but I think I will see how it will look like now I think it's even much much bigger much more bigger than uh, this dimension ok let's make it Control Z double click on this one make this one uh, um, 1000 and make this one 2000 or 17700 I think so okay now okay copy paste align to selected level from 2 to 14 okay I think this one is much better okay uh, let's start by making this element okay so let's use a wall for now I will show you the two ways okay in the first way I will just click on this one this elevation while I'm, I'm in the 3d and I will go to I will go to architecture component model in place and then generic model like this and okay and then we can just directly start draw an extrusion normal extrusion and then um, set big a plane okay big one of these uh, side click tab okay and now we can start just drawing the, the shape that we want okay I will go out from it and cancel and the thick second way is just to go by WA for a wall click in here let's say I put it in its place I will click on the wall and then edit profile and I will draw exactly the same thing but for now let me just use the um, let me use the wall okay since I'm here and I will be opening this side so I will use the east elevation okay so I will 
um, say this is the east uh, elevation of the building so I will uh, draw my wall in here click it like this just click uh, let me see okay out of the building approximately like this one okay let me see the dimension di from this one or from the side actually I want it to be I just click the tab I will um, say 70 okay and now we will know why I'm, I'm doing that because like if I just let me just align it al this line with this one and align this one with that one click it and then edit type duplicate it a new one new thick wall okay okay edit type and I will put the thickness because if we just look at this thickness it's mm, I will I will try to make it maybe 150 and I will see how it will be okay so 150 and then okay okay so MV from this point to this point go to 3d so it's like this I think even we will make it a bit more bigger so but just like wait um, let me just uh, I'm thinking about f first like a drawing it and then changing the the thickness of it so but like let me just try something because I really don't know it if I just draw um, like if I just change the type of it and then TR and OK and now I will change the thickness of this wall is it able to make it or not let's just OK so it's fine no problem for us Control Z I will go to right elevation this is the right elevation and it's actually the east elevation okay so let's go to east elevation so yes it's exactly like this so now I'm looking at this um, model from this side okay so it's one two three four five from the fifth one sorry click double click on it just uh, bring this one delete it click like this okay remove constraint this one should be from the fifth one okay from this one remove constraint no problem okay okay like this and then it's going up uh, one two okay from approximately let me see, approximately maybe five let's see li or not li uh, from like this or 700 okay from the middle point it's okay even much more maybe 1000 like this dr delete this line okay so now we just draw this side okay and uh, and then we do we do have one two three so i will go until this point so it will be something like this and then we will draw maybe mm, four four hundred yes I think so so it's going like this so it's going up one two three or one two and then one two three isn't it yes from this one to draw delete this one and put this one in this one and then draw a line from this point to this point TR okay and now let me just delete it mv from here to here or draw another line let me see the difference yes i think this one is much better i will uh, click this line change the dimension of it until 400 and then like this okay and now another line going straight up okay it's going even more than the building so it's fine we could do it to a to, to 300 delete this line another line in here and then trim it 
and now start just to trim or making these uh, arcs I think they are the same so we will see how we will make it I will click this fillet and then the radius will be 200 too much let me just make it 100 I think this is really good one okay I think so so let's just click OK go to 3d even we need to make it so we need three elements in here as you see three elements so we will even make the thickness much bigger it's okay for us but we need just to um, achieve this result okay so they are the, th the these spaces are the same the voids and these spaces are the same the thicknesses of this element so um, let me just see if I went to third one fourth sixth one okay so we let me just um, H H for hide hide and isolate di we just draw it as 1000 so we will draw each one is uh, 300 and then um, the voids will be maybe maybe 5 50 50 or or 100 100 so we will see uh, HR for an isolate so this is the line and then just CO from this one to this one and another one in the middle one click it edit make it at 300 okay apply okay got the 3d okay I think it's fine but wait let me just go to 61 click all of them MV move it out 100 and then even for this one since this one from here to here is 100 I will click this one and MV 50 and this one MV 50 go to 3d I think I think it's good let me even make it a bit bigger let me see how it will look like and then just make it 350 uh, okay I think it's good now I think so so let me just uh, click this one this one this one make them as a group okay G B is the shortcut group one okay open in a group no we don't need to open it it's just okay and now we just want to go to right elevation since we need just to uh, to rotate them and copy them but first we do have I think because the the length of this one it's a bit smaller so let me just uh, undo this group and group and select only one and go to top and then CO from here to here go to uh, east elevation select it RO like this 180 it's not going to rotate this is the problem of the wall I think because we are not able to to create it so we need just to to make a generic model let me see yes I think so uh, because we are not able to rotate it it was going it was I think much better let me see if I just click it and RO and then I said I want a copy from it and then uh, 180 yes I'm not able to do it it's okay uh, I will directly go to generic model so it, it, it's I think we just learned it together in order just to not to make it as a wall <laughs> but it's okay <laughs> click on this wall and then just click like this okay and okay so I do have this generic model drag it until this line and drag it until this line okay and then say finish click this one H H click this one delete it H R we do have this generic model go to east elevation now 
R O in this position Y C O R O it should be make a group okay R O yes it should be R O without a copy 180 it's fine let me see just like why he's it's not able to rotate it 180 it's okay so the thing is I just made it as a group I don't know why it's he, it's not able MV from this point to this one click and group it double click double click on it because we don't need this um, radius and okay as you see there is no radius in here and yes they are the same but only we need just to make this one much bigger so yeah double click go to this elevation select all this line MV let me see yes from here to here and again MV just make it up maybe 200 yes this is it I think it's good yes I think so and for now let me just uh, go to level 6 and CO from here or from CO from this point to this point and then from this point to this point so they are exactly aligned with each other so this is the first part okay um, let's complete the second part now uh, as you see this is the result we, we got we can even for this part I think because maybe we need just to move it a bit inside or even make the making this part a bit bigger maybe or just keeping it it's okay for us so but like you know you know exactly how to edit um, this element you can just double click on it and then that's it uh, now let's just make um, these elements so these elements will be like I will make maybe the upper part first and then connecting it with this one and then making maybe yes I think so or making this side first and then that one so let's make this side first this is the est elevation as we said yes this is it go to create extrusion pick a plane in this one I just pick one one side of this uh, these floors let's go and see it so these elements exactly in this part and then uh, they are uh, vertical so clicking this line making an offset of 100 yes and another 100 from here and then the thicknesses will be a bit different so make the first one maybe 200 and then making 100 sorry this side and then another 200 from here so yeah I think it's it's good now uh, the difference is only with these uh, radiuses okay so let's just I just made this one 200 200 and this one 100 or we can make all of them 150 150 yes making them exactly equal 150 150 yes and go line like this like this let me see how it will be yes it's going really small one it's not exactly like that okay fillet uh, radius 100 let me see how it will be for this one this one this one nope 
we need we need just to make it uh, manually so just click without a radius click it like this and then making it approximately like that let me see it's not like this let me just uh, move this one a bit even move move it a bit let me see there's just the distances between this one and this one let's make it 50 and for this one make it 50 and again like this make it even 50 TR okay I think it's 50 yes I think so and also the same from here I will just uh, draw lines it's okay we will face some intersections but it's fine no problem so just click this one and make it 50 click this one and sorry click this one and bring this dimension from this point to this point and make it as not this one to this one make it as 50 and also that one 50 and now start just to fillet it radius 150 let me see how it will be and again I think it's good if you didn't like this result you can make it as you want I mean that you can change the radius so it's up to you I mean just we you got the idea so yeah um, this is first and then making it up to this point let's make it up to this point make them like this bring them up and then for this one SL 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 TR TR again and then okay I think we just need to move it up a bit maybe 100 it's okay and then for this one it's going down so first one second one third one okay so one two three yes one two three from this one so let's make two lines I just click LI and then CO 50 and then select all of the uh, both of them from this one to this one to this one and then TR I just click um, copy CO again again fillet the radius 150 uh, let me see okay again again and then we will uh, draw it okay outside just click a line like this maybe uh, 100 200 another 200 okay and then a l multiple alignment to this line and then start to click these points okay and then sl click sl split line tr another tr another tr trim and extend trim and extend delete this one delete this line and then okay go to 3d change the material to let me just start a new one okay create a new material use the render appearance or without it just uh, make it as darkish one okay and then click this one make it as white Okay, apply okay so um, come on 
control C finish we need to edit H1 okay whitish one finish and then the last one this one the material white one okay click this wall edit the type of it the material white one okay apply okay and now it's fine maybe the thickness of these guys must be 50 yes and now we will draw another um, two lines we can exactly draw the same things okay so just to click create extrusion rectangle set pick a plane yes on this one um, it's this one that is the thickness of it a rectangle like this and then 50 click it select it see all from this corner to this corner to this corner and then say okay 1 200 just drag them select this one and then go to the top and then DM draw mirror or go to site let, let me see if I just open the site one now DM DM yes I think yes exactly we just draw them select this one okay and for this one we do need just the same one the same color and now we can directly just join them that's it okay and for this one of course we can make the same also but for this one let's make it in this way extrusion pick a plane yes in in here and then rectangle from here to here and then make this one 250 and then select all of it see all from this one to this one to this one and then okay and drag them join we directly they directly just join the, the material so this is it I think we can even close this part we can close this part let's um, close it maybe even by a wall as you see let's just create a wall let's finish create a wall create this one edit okay this one we need this one just uh, exterior one like this go to 3d we do have this wall go to right edit profile let me see the shape of it okay we do have even this corner so we will uh, draw it from here line like that like this from here to here and then going up until this point and then like this dr delete this line delete or trim let me see if it's okay like this yes i think so just uh, a trim manually no problem like this like this approximately 100 200 fill it one hundred fifty one hundred fifty it's okay or I think no need for this one yes no need so it's okay like this say okay go to level one DM sorry DM got the 3d go to level one CS like this go to this side where is it it's in here going up until this point 
yes so this is it click on it click on this one click space and that's it a l this one come on and this one and yeah i think uh, this is it okay we did something wrong in here for this one a line okay so this is it go to floor f l another floor like this okay no problem with this intersection so yeah gd just this uh, smooth one both shadows go to lighting increase the sun and the ambient light and decrease the shadow and yeah that's it